If you want to talk about a sport of sizable individuals, according to SiteGuides.com, the average NFL player is 6'2", 246 pounds. The average college football player is 6'1", and about 20 pounds lighter, whereas the average man, he's only 5'9", 181 pounds. The amount of NFL players that are smaller than that average man, those numbers are pretty scarce. That's where we arrive to the shortest player in NFL history, Jack Shapiro. He stood at just beneath 5'1", but the thing about Shapiro was he played nearly a century ago, in 1929. According to reports, Shapiro was on a professional roster for five games and possibly played in three as a blocking back. But that's the thing, it was a completely different era. I mean, heck, the dude played high school football at 85 pounds. It's almost certain he will hold his place in NFL record books as the shortest player in league history. But what if we take a look at college football? That's where things become truly shocking. In 2013, at only 134 pounds and standing at a mere 4 foot 9, Jason Carter became the shortest player in college football history to actually get into a game. It's pretty absurd to think that he actually played. Just like the fact that SeaGeek brings tickets from all across the web into one area, making buying simple. This includes all kinds of sports and other events, like concerts. SeaGeek rates these tickets on a scale from 1 to 100, with the higher the number, the better the deal. And if you still haven't done it yet, use my promo code KTO at checkout for $20 off your next purchase. Alright, let's dive into this video. Here's the thing about Jason Carter. If you were a college coach looking to recruit players and you only saw this dude's stats, strength, speed, IQ, you would say, wow, this dude's a beast. Carter rushed for 18 touchdowns and more than 1,200 yards while making plays on the defensive side of the ball as well. He benched 315 pounds. As a running back and safety, that's not too bad. He also ran a 4-5 in the 40-yard dash. And by the way, smart kid too. He was valedictorian of his high school. Actually, this is the crazy one. His IQ is apparently 169. When I found this out, I had to see where this ranked among the most elite minds in history. You want to take a guess at Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking's IQ? They're both right around 160. Now, there is a lot of skepticism of how much the IQ test actually shows, but still, Jason Carter's 169 is considered very superior intelligence. This also means that his IQ is higher than his actual weight. Okay, enough of this data, because unfortunately for Jason Carter, his height, as a result of a growing disorder, didn't measure up to the rest of his superior traits. At first, this forced Carter to give up on his dream of playing college football and he settled on attending Rice University with the intention of going into computer engineering. It didn't take that long for Carter to get the itch to play again. Early in his freshman year, Carter decided that he wanted to play college football. When he approached the head coach and asked for a tryout, he had to get a regular physical and see additional doctors to see if it was even okay if he could be on the field. Eventually, he got the clearance and he was off and running. He was a star on the scout team for the next two seasons, and the heart that he showed on the practice field allowed him to travel with the team in 2013. It was a pretty cool gesture by the coaches to allow him to travel, but I don't know if anyone would have expected that after only a few games, this would take place. You get that sense and that feel with this man. How about this? The give to Jason Carter. Oh. Just a little fella, and he, he, obviously the student body familiar with it, he gets his carry and a huge round of applause. Four feet As you might guess, after a surprise carry versus UTEP, his story went viral. Although he was still on the travel roster, he wouldn't see the field again for over a year. It wasn't until his final appearance as a member of Rice's football team, their bowl game. On the Rice roster, the junior running back walk-on who is four foot nine and 140 pounds. His college career ended with two carries, but his impact was so much more. The effort that he gave on the practice field for two full seasons, plus another two years on the travel roster. 
Look, being on a college football team is cool, but it comes at a hefty price. The amount of work that the average collegiate athlete puts in day in and day out, to only be able to get in for two plays in four years, it takes selflessness and heart. I wanted to run out of that tunnel for my dad to prove to everyone prove that I worked. what? That I was somebody. Oh, you are so full of crap. You're five feet nothing, a hundred and nothing, and you got hardly a speck of athletic ability. And you hung in with the best college football team in the land for two years. And you're also going to walk out of here with a degree from the University of Notre Dame. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. And after what you've gone through, if you haven't done that by now, it ain't gonna never happen. Like Rudy, Jason didn't have anything to prove. He was going to graduate from an elite private school with a degree in computer engineering and with weighing nearly 100 pounds lighter than the average college football player and not even being five feet tall, he didn't have to try out for a division one football team but it mattered to him, and he made it become a reality. Now, he's doing pretty well for himself. After graduating, he currently works for Amazon as a software engineer. So let's wrap this up the right way. Underdogs are one of the things that make sports truly special, whether it's a team overcoming the odds or being a complete outlier like Darren Sproles, who's made a successful career in the NFL at only five foot six. Look, Tom Brenneman said it best. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. The Saints are not a person team, but I think they have to uh, destroy. 